I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on coordinate geometry. The question here is midpoint of the segment AB is 2, 5. Find the coordinates of point A if the coordinates of B are minus 4, 7. Now I will show you two ways of sketching it. One is doing kind of a accurate sketch. So what we do here is that we know the midpoint is somewhere like 2, 5 will be somewhere here. We are given point B minus 4, 7. Let's say somewhere there. And we are looking for point A. And we will join this point, these two points, and then kind of carefully extend it. Let's say like this, right? So what you get here is a segment which is B with minus 4, 7, the midpoint M with 2, 5, and this point A, which we don't know. So if we don't know, we'll just put X, Y for it. Is that clear? Now, when you sketch like this, you have to kind of think a lot where which points are, and it may take a lot of time in the test. You could also sketch like this alternate. I have purposely taken these points to show you how wrong this sketch can be but still it works. Okay, so how it works is like this. We are given a segment AB so I'll just draw a straight segment like this AB without bothering about the slope and all those things, right? The question is not on sketching a line. Okay, this we have to find coordinates of a point. That is important to understand. So we have a midpoint at 2, 5. So we'll say just midpoint here is at coordinate 2, 5. We are given one point, which is find the coordinates of A. So let me write A here. B is given to us as minus 4, 7. You see how wrong the sketch is. Minus 4 is coming to the right side. Okay. But doesn't matter. When the question is on midpoint, this diagram is good enough. Right. So I spend a minute on explaining why this is good enough. But that is very helpful when you save time in the test. You need not be very specific as we have shown in the first case. It is good, but this is not bad. Okay, let's think like this. Now let us see how to solve. Now coming back to the formulas, we have to understand one thing. What is midpoint? Midpoint is the average value. So you don't even have to remember it is like x1 plus x2 divided by 2, nothing like this, right? Now we know midpoint is 2, 5. So 2 is average value of these two. Do you understand? 2 is the average value of these two. What is x? We don't know. So we'll write x, y for a, right? So what we're trying to say here is that point 2 is... The x value of midpoint is average value of x and minus 4. So we can write this as x plus minus 4 divided by 2. Do you get it? Or if you make this diagram, then this 2 is average of these two points, right? So either way you can write, but that is what you get. 2, the x value, is average of these two. Perfect. Now, once you write that, you can find what x is. Just cross multiply to solve for x. 2 times 2, we'll do 2 times 2, cross multiply. And we have x minus 4. So that is 4. And bringing this minus 4 to this side becomes plus 4 equals to x. And we get x value as 8. Do you see that? I mean, x value is 8. Now, let us find the y value y value the midpoint is 5 so we'll write 5 equals to average of these two 
you could do these two or these two one and the same thing it is average of phi y and 7 so 5 equals to y plus 7 over 2 now to solve for y again cross multiply you get 10 equals to y plus 7 or y equals to 10 minus 7 which is equal to 3 so we get our point x y as coordinates for point A which is x y will be x value of 8 and y value of 3 do you see that so that is how you are going to get your points is that clear what you can do here is we can check check in a way that if I take 8 here let's check it if I write 8 and 3 then add them and divide by 2 8 plus minus 4 divided by 2 should be the x value and 3 plus 7 divided by 2 should be the y value for the midpoint correct and this is 4 over 2 and that is 10 over 2 and we do get 2 5 so it is correct do you see that now with this example you will also understand that by making a diagram which looks wrong but it is absolutely correct for such examples where we are not required to sketch this sketch is only to help us solve the question so it doesn't matter even if you write 2 5 on left side of minus 4 7 why we're just making a horizontal line so it works for any coordinates right so i hope that helps well if you want to adopt this method you can and i've only shown with the help of example where the points are kind of on the wrong side but still they give you the right answer and they will always give you the right answer right anyway so what we have shown you here is that the midpoint is always the average value so we can add these two divided by two to equate to x value and y value of the midpoint to find unknown as we did in this particular example I hope that helps. Feel free to write comments, share my views, and if you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thank you, and all the best.